Opportunity. Something few, if any, were willing to offer veteran guard Richie Incognito in early 2019. But when Raiders general manager Mike Mayock and head coach John Gruden assessed Incognito, a four-time Pro Bowler working to grow from the hardships of his past, they saw a high-caliber talent worthy of a chance to prove he had more football left to play. Mike and John laid out a gauntlet of things that uh, I had to do and be accountable for in order to earn the right to, to step on the field as a Raider. So I went through and I, I checked those boxes. Incognito earned his shot at a fresh start as the Raiders signed the free agent eager to get back to football after not playing the entire 2018 NFL season. It's about redemption, it's about getting another opportunity. I want to come in here and contribute, I want to be a team leader. I feel like I, I'm still in, in good shape and I feel like I can still play at a high level. He's just a really tough football player. He brings a, a tough demeanor to the room and to really stop at this side of the ball. And he's very talented as well. You definitely feel his veteran presence just around the group, in the room. It's definitely going to help. Since taking the field in week three last September, number 64 has proven to be one of the most productive free agent acquisitions for the Silver and Black. Let's go, Rich. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Ah. Pro Bowl left guard. We like where he is. We like what he's done. And we like the potential of what he can be. Ever since he's been here, you know, he's two walkers down for me. Super positive all the time. He's been a great teammate. Uh, picking up the offense really fast. He's been nothing but phenomenal, both to the young guys in the building and the offensive line room. I like it when we get the ball first. Just get out there and go. You add me into the mix, and it's an exciting group. Colton Miller, a uh, young, rising talent who played his butt off his second year in the league, made a big jump from his rookie year to his second year. To my right, we got Rodney Hudson, who is a tremendous center. Got big Gabe on the right side, which a guy I love, you know. Let's go, baby. Me and Gabe have been friends since before I came here, so I've, I've always been excited to be a teammate of his. And uh, then we got big Trent over there at right tackle holding it down. And uh, he's a stud. I mean, he's a, he's a shutdown guy. He's a legit tackle in this league. Surrounded by talent that makes up one of the strongest offensive lines in the NFL, Incognito helped spur opportunity for other weapons to shine on the Raiders' offense. And here is Jacobs, and Jacobs is going to score! And got a kick out of his new fan base while doing so. Raider Nation is uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. You know, they're very passionate about their football and their Raiders. You know, every time we leave, we got guys out front waiting for autographs, and they're all always fired up. So it's been a great fit. You know, I obviously play my butt off, and I think fans can appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> the 36-year-old's impressive performance throughout his debut season in Silver and Black garnered him a two-year contract extension in late December. Confirmation, he is embracing the opportunity to be a Raider and has plenty more to offer in the years ahead. A whole lot of emotions. Um, I'm excited, I'm relieved, I'm proud, kind of just relishing the moment, you know, all the hard work that it's taken to get here and the opportunity that this brings to continue to grow with the Raiders organization. Number.